Greetings and welcome to Weld.com. My name is Elwin Zim, or the one Zim from Instagram. And if you notice anything different about my background, I just got a special package in the mail, and I bet you'll never guess where it came from. I'm so excited to show you guys this. Always wanted one. Here you go. It's the Plasma Cut 45D from Cannonwell. Let's check it out. This plasma cutter is going to come with everything that you need to start cutting at home right away. It's got your torch with a 20 foot long connection, a pack of consumables which are easily replaced and found anywhere in North America, an adapter for a 120 outlet, a very thorough owner's manual which you should definitely read right away, an airline with a quick connect, your ground clamp, a very nice travel case, there's room for everything that comes with it, and of course this very handsome machine. This is the Plasma Cut 45D. All right, the first thing I want to talk about is some of the things that jumped out to me right away upon opening the package. Obviously, it's got a real handsome exterior to it with a nice metal face plate. I really like that because you never know how close you might have to have your machine or uh, you might not be paying attention like I don't sometimes. Another thing that I want to point out is the drag tip. It's got a nice long drag tip on it. And this ball bearing uh, connection to the handle is super nice nice to uh, have some extra flexibility if you get hung up on something that's nice to have um, you'll see probably when we uh, go to use it i'm going to get hung up on something eventually so you'll see that in action and it's also got this safety feature here for the trigger which is also really nice especially if you have children okay so the next item on the, on the list it comes with this argon hose or so it's labeled on the hose and i was kind of curious why would they send me an argon hose well Obviously, it's for the air. It's the air compressor hose. Um, so don't be stupid like I am. I'm just a dumb welder. So um, it's got a quick connect directly into the back of the machine. Just like that, you're good to go. Um, the one thing you want to do is make sure you have the correct end here. You're going to have to find the right one that matches what you have at your house or at your shop because it's not going to necessarily be the same coming out of the box. So be sure you check your ends that they match. It's got this shoulder strap that hooks up directly to the top of the machine. Super cool. If you're trying to carry it around and get something done, it's further away than what you want to. You don't have to hold it here. You can hold it over your shoulder. That's pretty sweet. You've got this adapter that allows you to plug this into a regular wall outlet, 120 volt. It comes with an attached 220, you can plug this straight on here, directly into a normal wall out. My house happens to be wired up for the larger plug. So I'm gonna go all in, take this adapter off here. We'll go ahead and plug her in like this. But before we do that, let's make sure we go ahead and put our lead in. It's gonna look a little like this. You just put this straight in the front of the machine here. Give her a couple of spins. Good to go. Next, make sure you've got your ground in. It's gonna look a lot like your welding machine. So you just put that on in here. Spin that clockwise. Now you're set. Now we're gonna plug this guy in and see what she does. Okay, so what we have set up here, we have a piece of copper nickel, stainless steel, and brass. We're going to go ahead and just drag that torch along that line right there and see what kind of cuts we got. Um, I'm going to point out this is three eighths, this is three eighths, this is also a quarter. So we're going to hit a bump right here and we're going to come back off that bump down here. See how the machine reacts. Let's go on and turn it on. Not very loud. As long as your air compressor is not having to be turned on. I happen to have a full tank, so we're gonna work with that. Now remember, we're doing copper nickel first, stainless steel, then brass. The Plasma Cut 45D from Cannaweld has a duty cycle of 35 amps at 60% and 30 amps at 100%. This machine is tested, in 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius, and is designed for very tough conditions. It has the ability to cut expanded materials 
and uneven surfaces. The Pilot Arc improves cutting on dirty and or rusted materials. It has a built-in automatic shutoff if the air pressure becomes too low or disconnected, which extends your consumable life. I'd say that worked out pretty well, wouldn't you? You got your copper nickel, stainless steel, and your brass. Three-eighths brass, one-quarter stainless steel, three-eighths copper nickel. So what we have set up here, guys, is a half inch thick steel plate. I am going to go ahead and cut straight through that here at home. All right, so let's go over what I'm gonna set this machine at. Uh, I'm not really a, a go by the book type. If I'm gonna use a plasma cutter, it's because I screwed up something or somebody else screwed up something. Um, and it's usually pretty thick. So I don't really mess around with the settings much. I turn her all the way up. Uh, I'm using the 220 volt and I've got my air pressure set to 80. This drag tip really does come in handy. So I'm gonna make a brass cut again, just because I love the fact that I can cut brass here at the house. I'm not a fan of the smell. So uh, wear a respirator uh, if you so desire, but I highly recommend it. Uh, anytime you're cutting brass or anything with high zinc content, otherwise you might get zinc poisoning and it sucks. I'm gonna cut some more brass. It's gonna be almost a quarter inch thick. I'm gonna keep the same settings that I used on the half inch steel. So let's see how it cuts the brass again, a little closer. A little closer up. We get a kind of an arc shot for you. It cuts brass so sweet. Look at that cut, that's pretty clean. So how can the Cannonweld Plasma Cut 45 help you at home, in your garage, with your projects? I've been working on an outdoor fireplace build made from an old oil tank. You can see here as I'm making a freehand cut that I'm utilizing the drag tip I have this plugged in and a 220 plug uh, and I have it turned all the way up. Uh, it's cutting through which no problem at all even through the rust. From this angle you can have a better view of me utilizing the drag tip. You can also kind of see the ball bearing attachment at the end of the torch being utilized as well which has been very handy in this project. Not too bad for a freehand cut. Not too shabby. And here I have an inside shot of a cut that is being made horizontally on the side of the tank. You can see the ease in which I'm cutting through this material. And here you can see another close-up shot of the inside of a cut, um, having no problems traveling down the hill, just as smooth as can be. Uh, I did reach a point here where I had to go over a nameplate, uh, so I stopped to reassess and then I finished the cut. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with it. I just wanna reiterate how nice this is. This isn't a feature that I've seen on any of the machines that I've used. A little ball bearing style joint down here at the bottom of the torch handle. Super cool. I love that. That's really nice. So all in all, Great little machine for the home shop. I'd verge to say that this would be great, good at work. Um, if you have your own business, I think this would do the job. I mean, cutting half inch thick steel, that's pretty solid. So thanks for tuning in to Weld.com. I'm the one Zim. Check me out on Instagram and download the Weld app today to get connected to our global welding community. Peace.